What's up, guys? It's LJ here, Lawrence Jam, coming at you from Lawrence Jam Hearthstone or Lawrence Jam HS, uh, bringing you guys another arena commentary, of course. And uh, today we will be playing Rogue. So uh, this is a very fun class. It's actually, in my opinion, the best class that you can play in arena. So um, yeah, I hope you guys pick a trick or two up, and don't forget to subscribe, like, comment below, and let me know what you think. Thanks. Um, I'll play Rogue. It's been a while since I played Rogue. I think uh, more than a Warlock. So, let's play Rogue. Okay, uh, these picks. Sunfear Protector, it's a 2-3. I generally try to stay away from that if it's a 2-pick. But uh, I will choose in, in this case, because the Cold Light Seer, really bad stats uh, for a 3-drop. It's the same stats as the Sunfear Protector, which I don't even like in a 2-drop, but uh, having it in a 3-drop is really bad. Uh, the Crazed Alchemist, it's okay. Um, it's very combo-y. Sometimes it'll be really great, sometimes, it most of the time, it's not going to be very useful. So I'll take this on favorite protector. It's a, it's a good uh, effect, because late game you can get good value out of it as well. Armani Berserker, I value this card slightly higher than the um, Sun Fear Protector, just because using this as a 2-drop makes your opponent have to have a 3-2. If they don't have a 3-2 to remove this, or, or saw another another way to remove the Berserker, then um, it's it could cause headaches. Uh, Dark Iron Dwarf, one of the best 4s in the game, really good. And Grimscale Oracle, worst card in the game. So we will take the Dark Iron Dwarf here. Happy about that. Card is always going to be good. Uh, Archmage, it's very average 6, probably even worse. Uh, or probably less than average. You don't want many 6s, so you don't want even an average 6 drop. Uh, having an average 2 drop is completely fine, because you need a, a lot more of those than you do the higher the higher picks. Uh, Marnie Berserker, again, uh, it's an okay card. Situationally, it's great. Um... Other times it's just a 2-3, which isn't that that amazing. Goldshire Footman, not a good card at all. Bad stats, doesn't really do anything. So I'll take the Imani, for sure. Uh, Assassin's Blade, one is completely fine. I don't want more than one, though. And I'm only on turn four, so hopefully uh, I don't get stuck with more than one. But I do love that. I do love Assassin's Blade. It's a really good card. Uh, Brewmaster is also a, pretty re a really good four drop. Um, especially since it combos with rogue abilities, the Brewmasters have increased value. Um, the 2-drop and the 4-drop both have increased value in rogue. Iron Beak Owl, not a great card, very situational again. Really bad stats for a 2-drop, but some, sometimes it's okay. I'll choose Assassin's Blade, though. It's my first one. Uh, and there's a second one. Uh-oh. Mm, this is bad. Silver Silverback Patriarch, horrible stats for a 3-drop. Um, terrible. 1-4 Taunter does not usually matter. Another Assassin's Blade has definitely decreased value. Having two of these in your hand is n it's never good. You're never going to play two of them. Almost never. Unless unless you get oozed or something. Uh, and the boar is absolutely terrible. But I'll take the Assassin's Blade because it is better than these other two by far. And um, it does allow my deck to have more consistency, which may... More consistency in drawing one, at least one Assassin's Blade. I'm really unhappy about that. Deadly Poison has increased value, especially since I have two Assassin's Blade. It's a really good card, too. Shield Bear, very useless in Arena. Hard to get good value out of that card. Terrible stats. Um, I'd much prefer a 2-1 to uh, Shield Bear. Uh, Dark Scale Healer, it's an okay card if you can get good value out of healing it with minions. Uh, but a lot of times it's just a turn 5 Yeti. Which you try to stay away from, because uh, it's not that, that's not that great for a 5-drop. I'll take the Deadly Poison. It just has so much synergy with my deck. So I'll take it. Gladly. Uh, Vanish. <laughs> it's a very wombo combo -y card. Um, I stay away from that. It's A lot of times you're just banishing one card back to your opponent's hand. Unless you're losing really bad. And for 6 mana, that's not good at all. Uh, Raging Worgen looks to be the choice here. It's a 3 mana 3-3, three, three, which is completely fine. The effect sometimes can win you a game, too. A little combo with uh, Dark Iron Dwarf as well. <laughs> Leroy. Interesting. Hmm. This is actually a really hard choice. Lorewalker Cho. It might be okay if I didn't have one spell, but even then, I probably would not pick this card. It's, uh, it's very combo-y. Or not combo-y, but it's very reliant on you not having any spells and still being able to win the game without spells. Leroy Jenkins. It'd be used as a finisher in this deck. I just don't see Baron Geddon being that great. I mean, it does enrage my guys. None, none of my guys have two health so far, which means that Baron Geddon has does have increased value. 
Like, if you have a lot of early game drops, Baron Geddon is not something you want. It's very counterproductive to your deck. I just don't see Leroy Jenkins being good in this deck, though. Like, it's it's a very bad card in Arena. If I had a, like... Like, th this, if I pick Leroy Jenkins, I'm basically committed to picking, like, a Shadow Step or some type of synergy with Leroy Jenkins where I can get good value out of that card. Hmm. I'll pick the Baron Geddon, though, I think. Yeah, I'll pick Baron Geddon. Okay, uh, Priestess of the Loon, it's a 6 drop, really bad stats, terrible stats. Um, oftentimes the healing for 4 does not help you at all. Novice Engineer, not a good card at all. Uh, it cycles through your deck late game though, so late late game novice engineer is fine. It's just you do, it's not a two drop. You can't count it as a two drop because it's really bad. But the berserker seems insanely slow. I have like an enraged deck though. It's kind of funny. <clears throat> but um, gosh, it's just it's such a slow minion to play. Like it's not something I want, especially considering I have two assassins blade. And I'm planning to be playing on turn five. I think I'll actually take novice engineer. I value all of these cards very low, though. Right, I'll take Novice Engineer. Uh, Defender of Argus seems like it'll be pretty good in this deck. Should be really good, hopefully. It's a good card in general as well. It's a good late game. Uh, Crazed Alchemist, I'll stay away from that. I have enough 2 drops right now. And I'm definitely looking for 3 twos at this point. I, I don't want any more of these uh, bad bad stat 2 drops. It's not good. Headcrack, really hard to get good value out of that. Oftentimes, the damage does not matter. So I'll take Defender Vargas for sure. Uh, Spellbreaker, it's an okay four. A lot of people used to love this card, like think it was like the best arena card, and I never agreed with that. Just because the stats don't seem good. Like the stats die to most two drops. Not in my deck, but um, other three two two drops that Spellbreaker loses to. Like oftentimes the silence is just completely useless. It does have the best stats out of all the silences though. So it is the best in that uh, in that sense if you're comparing the silences the silence minions. Uh, Cold blood, I have a lot of respect for this card. I think it's really good and it does have some amazing synergy with my deck. I think I'll go with the cold blood. Definitely not sinister strike. Sinister strike is completely useless. Unless I was trying to go with a combo deck, there's no point. Cold blood it is. Another Assassin's Blade, oh boy. <laughs> nah, Swamp Ooze is definitely the choice here. It's a 2 drop, it's a 3-2, exactly what I was looking for. And it has increased value because uh, that Battle Cry can win you a game. Uh, Betrayal's okay. I'm not too big of a fan. It's very situational if that card's good or not. I consider that card to be like Kona Cold, which is very situational. Rain Later, really happy to see that card. I love Rain Later. Um, has bad synergy with Baron Geddon, but outside of that, it's just a really good card and it should be fine. Like, I should not be not picking cards because of, because I picked Baron Geddon. So I'll choose Rain Later. Shiv is, uh, it's meh. It does one damage. Um, it's a lot of times it'll do exactly what Novice Engineer does. In a sense, I mean, it is a spell, so I consider it slightly better than Novice Engineer, but not that much higher. Uh, War Golem, bad stats for a 7, so we'll stay away from that. Rain Leader it is. Uh, Goldshire Footman, really bad. Fairy Dragon, probably the best 2-drop. That and Ooze and Knife Juggler are all three really good 2-drops. Uh, uh, Young Dragonhawk, <laughs> it does have some really cool synergy with my deck. But uh, <laughs> it's very uh, situational. And I would never choose something like the Young Dragonhawk over a Fairy Dragon. But it is important to think about the wombo combos that you can make with your deck. Because if a later pick comes up, like if this Shiv was a, um, what did I pass up on? It was the Wind Fury guy. I forget his name. The Dragonhawk. I may be like, wow, a Dragonhawk actually does have some synergy here. Maybe I'll pick it. But uh, So yeah, Ironforge Rifleman, not really that good. It's a 3-drop, 2-2, two, two, really bad stats. Um, Shiv, it's okay. It's pretty much like the Novice Engineer. I don't really want one. But um, it's still better than the Magma Rager. It's between Ironforge Rifleman and Shiv. I only have one 3, which makes the Ironforge Rifleman slightly better. But it's such bad stats, I'd want to stay away from that card. I think I'll take the Shiv. I'll just plan to play this card a little bit more late game. I need more threes though, for sure. Uh, another Rain Leader, that's fine. I like that card a lot. Fan of Knives, I try to stay away from that card. It's okay. A lot of times it's doing exactly what Shiv is doing. Um, sometimes it's great, but most of the time it's not that good. Especially since in Arena, people stay away from the one-health minions. 
and like you can get good use out of Fen and Eyes and construct it because you have like Hazard Drake or you have um or you don't have anything to play else on turn three. And so like it's kind of a cycle card, but in arena it's very hard to get good synergy out of Fen and Eyes like that. And same exact reasoning with Conceal. <clears throat> so Rain Later it is. I have a lot of twos now though. Brewmaster, uh, it's a four. I need more fours, so that's great. Conceal I already talked about. Uh, and same thing with Berserker. It's too slow in my deck, so I'll take the Brewmaster. It's funny, I could have had like such an enraged deck, though. Eviscerate, very happy to see that card. Love that card in Arena. Better than these two, for sure. Voodoo Doctor, it's an okay for a one-drop. It's one of the better one, two ones that you can uh, play. Because uh, it does have value in the late game. You can heal up some of your late game minions and then get some value out of it. Whereas, like, if this is the Leper Gnome, if you draw this on turn 9 and you have, like, a Baron Geddon on the field that's hurt, it's like, what is the Leper Gnome going to do? But a Voodoo Doctor, at least, can have some value. So, Eviscerate. Master of Disguise. <laughs> it's kind of funny. I could uh, have a permanent consecration. <laughs> um, Defender of Argus is definitely going to be the choice here, though. Cold Light Oracle. Two Wombo Combo. It is a three drop, though. But uh, two Wombo Combo for my deck. I don't have enough uh, synergy with the Cold Light Oracle. I don't really like that card in Arena, either. It's hard to get good use out of it. Like, I have enough late game here where it's... Cold Light Oracle is not really going to matter. The Defender of Argus should have a ton of targets, too. I have so much, so many twos. Alright, good, so I have a three here. All threes. Um, Cold Light Oracle, again, loses out to Mind Control Tech. Mind Control Tech, it's a great card. It's a three mana, three for three. Exactly what we're looking for in our three drops. Except uh, it does have an effect that can win you a game if you're losing, which is always great. Uh, Questing Adventure may actually work in this deck, believe it or not. But I'm not going to choose it over the Mind Control Tech, just because it's very situational. If that card's going to be good. Like, it's not a card I want to play on turn 3 as well. It's a card that's okay to play in the late game. So I'll take my control tech because I need more turn 3 plays. Alright, Razorfin Hunter it is. I hate this card, but I'll take it over those two for sure. <clears throat> Wisp is terrible, unless you can combo with something. Wolf Rider. Uh, it is another 3. I think I can pass up on it, though. Uh, the Warden is really bad. Really bad stats. Uh, the Silverhand Knight is what I want to choose. It's a good card. Very solid. Um, and I don't have any five jobs yet besides my weapons, so I'll take it. <clears throat> uh, Betrayal. Again, I don't like that card that much. I like Blue Gill Warrior slightly higher. It removes three two minions, which is okay, but I'm starting to have too many twos, which is becoming a problem. One, two, five, six. So I already have six potential turn two plays. I'm going to have seven. But that's a play. It's a it's a choice I have to make because betrayal is going to be useless in this deck. I think most of the time. All right, very happy to see this. The Senjin, one of my favorite fours. Love it. Like the thing about Defender of Argus is majority of the time you're not going to be playing it on turn four. So I definitely need more fours if we're going to be going anywhere with this deck. Uh, Frostwolf Warlord may have really good value. It has amazing value with things like Defy's Rain later and stuff that can spam the field. And I have a lot of twos um, and ways to keep those twos on the board, which means Frostwolf Warlord would likely be at least a 5-5, five five, probably higher, like a 6-6 six six in most scenarios on turn 5. Uh, but the Eviscerate is amazing. I don't think I can actually pass up on the Eviscerate. I just love Eviscerate. It's such a great, it's such a useful card. Uh, dealing 4 damage for 2 mana in the late game is just unbelievably good. So I'll take the Eviscerate slightly over the Warlord, but it's I think it's very close between those two. Betrayal, I definitely cannot take any more late game minions. Uh, Squires, it does combo decently well with Cold Blood, but outside of that, I'm not so sure about that card. Dark Scale Healer, hmm. Maybe Ardrick Squire would be a decent choice here. The thing about Dark Scale Healer is it's going to have like no value in my deck, even though it is a turn 5 play, which is... Pretty good. It's like I think the Argent Squire may actually be better here. It has synergy with Cold Blood, um, things like combos like Eviscerate because it's a cheap, it's a cheap uh, minion. It also has synergy with things like Dark Iron Dwarf, like Waste of Buff Attack, uh, Defender of Argus. Dark Skill Healer has like literally no synergy in my deck. It's not. I don't have a big enough health pools to uh, heal anything, so I'm not really looking at the effect here. When I'm thinking about taking Dark Scale Healer, I'm thinking about the fact that I don't have many 5 drops. I don't have any late game right now. And I only have 5 cards left. But I think I'll stay with the strength of the deck and I'll pick the Argent Squire. 
it's very close between us. All right, really happy to see that. Uh, it's very sad to pass up on the Brewmaster here, though, because Brewmaster does synergize well with my deck, but I'm going to need more late game if I want any chance in this arena. So I will take the Bogerfist. The Boulderfist. Did I say Bogerfist? <laughs> the Boulderfist Ogre. Uh, Throne Wall for here. It's an okay card if you're way ahead. If you're not way ahead, it's something that you don't want to play on turn three majority of the time. Um, it's really hard to get use out of uh, good Wind Fury minions, so I'll take the Ogre. It's kind of like the Wind Fury is kind of the same idea that you have with um, Silence. Like a lot of the Silence minions have really bad stats. Like Blizzard thought because hey, it's a good effect. It has Silence. Let's give those minions bad stats. Like Beaker and uh, Spellbreaker or Owlbreaker, whatever whatever that one is called. Um, it's the same thing with Wind Fury. They did the same exact thing. They wanted to give any minion with Wind Fury bad stats, and that's automatically going to be bad in Arena, especially, because it's hard to get good combos together with... It's hard to get minions to stay on the field. And so you want to get, like, the most stats you can out of your minions. Dread Corsair has really good value in Rogue. Really good value in my deck, because I have, uh, two... Assassin's Blade, and I also have a Deadly Poison as well, so it's very possible this Dread Corsair costs one or nothing. Um, Stormpike Commando is also an okay card. I need more fives. This is really close between these two. I think for the synergy's sake, I'll actually take the Dread Corsair, but maybe I'll take Commando. I like Commando as a card much better. Commando is the, one of the best cards that shoots out damage out of, like, Elven Archer and, um... Whatever that three drop is that does damage to you. Hmm. It's not really synergetic with a lot of my stuff though, the commando. It's okay. It's synergetic by itself in a lot of scenarios. I'll take the dread course here. I need more fours anyway, so it's fine. Yeti. Oh, this is really close actually. Man, I never like to pass up on a Yeti, but I just dropped another four, so I have one, two, three, four, possibly five, six, fours. That's a lot of fours. Um and I don't have many threes, which is a problem. I only have one more card after this, too. One, two, three. I definitely need to take a three here. I think I'm like I'm desperate in enough to take a three here. I think over the Yeti, which is crazy to me. And even even the there's justification for taking the Cold Blood as well. Synergizes pretty well with the deck, but I'll have to take the Farseer. And this is this pains my heart to not take a Yeti because Yeti is so much of a better minion. But I need more threes. Okay, so. Uh, preparation's no good for sure. Uh, in this deck, I don't have enough late game spells. Maybe if I preparation, um, yeah, I don't even know what that would be good with in arena, like something. But uh, big game hunter or faceless. I think I have to take the big game hunter here. <laughs> Not because I. It, it's basically doing the same type of uh, thing that I wanted to do. Like faceless manipulator. I'm going. I'm not going to be using that on any of my own minions because. I don't have any really good minions except for Baron Geddon and maybe Ogre. Um, besides those two minions, I'm basically faceless uh, an opponent's minion that's big. Same thing that Big Game Hunter is probably doing with removing it. A uh, big threat. I'll take Big Game Hunter here because it does have multiple values. Because if I, I, I need more threes, and if I get it on turn three, then it is usable. It's basically doing the same thing, though. But since Faceless Manipulator has no uh, synergy with my deck, I'll take the Big Game Hunter. Okay, it's an interesting deck. Um, uh, it's a very interesting deck. I'm not sure exactly how good it is. It does have really good synergy between the, the cards, but the minion quality is a little lacking. Like, I have a lot of low-quality minions by themselves. Like, this, this deck is relying on a lot of synergy. It's very... It has, like, no late game, too, which is really bad. So the Baron Geddon was probably the wrong choice now that I look back on it. I think Leroy probably would have been better. Because Baron Geddon is going to be unplayable a lot of my games. I still think it's okay though. I think it's probably average. I'll say 8 wins. Okay. Alright, um... It's a 2-3. I think I'll get rid of the Blue Go Warrior. Yeah. It's not really that great against Paladin. It's okay. The Defias Rain Leader will be better late game. Oh, Argent Squire. Okay, perfect. Really clean mana curve here. I could have held on to this for turn three, like uh, sending out Argent Squire and then Defias Rain Leader, but 
It's not really good against Paladin because of the Consecration. So 3-4, probably. I may want to not play the mind control tech here and just hero power. I think I'll actually hero power because um I don't want to get mind control tech next turn. I don't want to be worried about it. And I don't want to overextend way too hard, you know? Like next turn I'm pretty much guaranteed this engine. And this this counters him from playing another hero power this turn. Okay. So I can't kill that this turn, unfortunately. Hmm. I could bounce back something to my hand. But that doesn't seem that good. I'll just kill it next turn. I'll just pass this turn. I only have 4 damage. I don't want to attack either because I don't want to be weak to Consecration. If I attack with the 2-3, then he just Consecrates. And then I'm in trouble. Pretty strong minion. Defender of Argus. I think that's pretty good here. Question is, how do I want to use it? I fight. One into that, and then buff this guy up. Hmm. This is really close. I, fight. I think I'll do that instead of uh, just losing my Argus to the buff. Well, yeah, because then I'll be weak to Consecration if I if I did it any other way. I'm still going to be somewhat weak to Consecration, but at least I can clear the board this way. And still keep a 2-3 on the board. The other way I don't clear the board, I don't think. Without losing my 2-3. Okay. Uh, hmm. Do I want to lose my Defender of Argus, or do I want to bounce it back to my hand? I'll bounce it back to my hand. I'm not going to attack because I think it's get down. It would make sense for him to play get down there. And instead of hero power removing it this turn, I want to play Defy Serene Leader. The next turn I plan to uh, hero power remove the secret. He played two very strong fours. <clears throat> pretty good, pretty good. Okay, so how can I do this? So I hero power and then I guess I defender of Argus and kill off the two one. Or maybe maybe I'll see. I'll see maybe maybe it's not get down. Ah oh, it is get down. Okay. Alright, how do I want to play this now? So I guess I just kill off my guy. I can potentially protect it, but I don't really think that's worth it at this point. I think it's better for me to play a three and then my other defy screen leader. So I'll play Raging Morgan. If I just play Silverhand Knight, it's perfect for him to kill that. Like this way he just kills my 3-3. Three, three. Whew, pretty good. Hmm, how do I get over that? I have to Defender of Argus, I guess. Uh, I'd love to ogre this turn. I guess technically I can ogre. But then I can't clear the 2-2. Two -two. <clears throat> so this is a close turn. I can Defender of Argus, hit that, send those in, and then... Okay, I guess that's slightly better. I'm not super excited about this play, if you can tell, though. I guess it's because I don't really have anything else good to play. I just play uh, Mind Control Tech. So mind control tech or another weapon. I guess I'll mind control tech. Because next turn I can't play these two anyway, so I probably have enough mana to weapon up. This is bad for my deck though that I'm getting to the late game without him taking too much damage. My deck is like a zoo deck. Like I have to have him low pretty soon. Oh, that's like literally the perfect counter. Holy crap! That's the only time I've ever seen light like, justice actually good. 
Because Paladin struggles to do one damage the majority of the time. Oh man, I may I may have been able to get value out of that. Shiv, is that good here? Not really. Ah, it's actually not bad, but actually no, you know what? I will shiv now that I think about it, because then I can clear everything. I want to keep my guys alive too. Let's try to get maximum value out of my cards right now. Ogre I can always play next turn. I want to give him his, a lot of one health targets too. Whoop, sea giant, that's not good. I might have to throw everything I have into that. Which I cannot even do, that's sad. Uh, this is going to be a very bad turn for me. Oh, that's pretty good. Well, actually, I guess I can't even do that. So I'm going to go down to 14. I can heal back up a little bit. Oh, I'll take it. If I, if I destroy his weapon this turn, I can't heal. I think I need to heal a little bit. It has better stats, too. Against, like, Consecration or something. I have to be able to kill that 8-8 next turn, too. Ooh! Uh, I don't think he should have done that. He should have killed my Ogre first. Because my Ogre may absorb a lot of that damage. Which it did. Somewhat. Like, he could have done that first and then done it. Okay. Have to send my 3-3 three, three in. Oh, now I don't have to. That's really good. Because losing my 3-3 losing my three, three there would have sucked really bad. So now I'm all in, though. So I have to win this next turn, hopefully. Well, pretty much, anyways. Because now, now, like, Ogre was my biggest minion in my deck besides Baron Geddon. But... I also have one Cold Blood, but I don't have anything to combo with it. Okay, so he didn't have an answer for that. Pretty shaky game, though. I think if he actually would have sent his Ogre in first, he may have been in a much better spot. Because he would have, uh... His Avenging Wrath would have hit a lot of different targets. Which is good for him. Okay, I'll keep the... Oh, nice. I have the, I have the extra cards. That makes my Rain Laner much better. I think I'll keep these. Well, actually... Hmm, do I want to keep RJ Commander? I guess I don't. I could keep Big Game Hunter, though. But that makes me kind of weak to Consecration. I'll look for a different three. The reason I'm not keeping RJ and uh, Squire here is because I'm planning to uh, turn one Defy Serene Leader. Light's Justice. No. Oh, wow, I got a three. That's pretty good. Next turn, I probably just play Ooze. I could weapon up, I guess, but... It's really not that good. Like, I like to save ooze if you can against uh, pouting or warrior classes because they have so many weapons, but if you have to play it, it, it as a two, then you just have to do that, especially with my deck. Yeah, so I will play it, I think. Or do I just weapon up here? Hmm. I'm, I'm thinking of, I'm contemplating attacking with the two-two here and playing the ooze or hero power killing it like that. Like, there's no reason to keep this at one health. Or keep it at two health. Like hitting this is a non-factor. It doesn't. It's not gonna make it worse for me. Okay. I think I'll stick to the plan. He doesn't have coin next turn, so he can't make me pay with uh, consecration. Hopefully next turn I can trade a couple of my guys in. And also I have raging organ, which is uh, really bad for him to consecrate because it enrages my guy. This next turn I can also deadly poison if I want, but I'll probably trade my guys in depending on what he plays. Cobra. Hmm. Okay, I'll just kill him with ooze then. I'll kill it with ooze, for sure. Or do I want to use this? No, I, I don't want to be weak to Consecrate. I need I need to counter Consecration. This is the best I can do to counter Consecration. If I just uh, use my Hero Power and Deadly Poison, yeah, I keep my 3-2 alive, but that's very bad against Consecration. I might just lose the game if, if I did that play. I have so much damage next turn if he Consecrations. <laughs> Cold Blood. What would that be? 8? That would be 16. <laughs> that would be so much damage. 
16. Oh, I can actually play all that. Yeah, so 16, 19 damage. It's insane. Oh, uh, please consecrate. <laughs> that would be great. <clears throat> he definitely does not want to consecrate this, this board, though. Is this fool crazy? Is he crazy? Okay, do I want to go off this turn? That's the question. Problem is, I'm going to be weak to Consecration if I did that, but... I think I'm actually willing to take that risk. <clears throat> I guess I won't. I guess I'll save it. Because I'll have to Deadly Poison just one attack, which is not good. If he, I, I, he took so long to play that last turn, it makes me think that he does have Consecration. Honestly, because... Like, why else would he have taken so long? Like, he had to know that my guy was going to take one damage. And may, maybe maybe I could have thought about it more and countered it a little bit, but... I don't think there's a reason to. Alright, so we got game. Sweet. <laughs> Raging Organ, OP. <laughs> I only had to spend two mana for that too. That's really OP. So I guess he didn't have Consecration. I worried for no reason. YOLO. Yeah, you like that, Adam? <laughs> Raging Organ, OP. Okay, so I don't have the coin, so my Rain Later is much worse. I think I get rid of all of it. Yeah, I get rid of all of it. Like, Deadly Poison is really not good until turn 3 anyways. That's a better hand, but not amazing for me. I much I much prefer to go second with this deck because of the, the coin defies really new. I don't have any SI agents, which makes me very sad. But, what are you going to do? I love when you can win games with... Uh, Defias or uh, Raging Organ, so it's funny. Okay, I'll play this. It's exactly what you want, though. You want the combo. Ne my next turn might be really weak. We'll see. He should hero power and then just kill it with a 2 1. I probably have to ooze this next turn unless I draw something else. Because I don't know how else I can kill the 2 2. No good. Okay. It does get rid of one durability, which isn't amazing value for me by any means, but it's not terrible. Next turn I can novice and eviscerate whatever he plays. Okay. That looks like an okay play. Oh I draw another two though. Do I wanna draw or do I wanna use the Sun Fury Protector? I guess I'd rather Sun Fury Protector. Because, um, the Novice Engineer gives me weaker board presence, because he just has to hero power kill it. But there, there is reason to use the Novice Engineer there, because it makes him spend two mana on that. So it really depends on what his hand is. If his hand has a four drop, it may have been better for me than Novice. Okay, I think I'll just get my weapon going now. Okay, don't, don't ooze me, bro. Oh, you don't have any giants, so you're playing control hand? I've always thought that it might work, but... I don't see why not. Like, Warlock has a lot of, uh... Ooh, oh, boy. Okay, well, luckily, I don't have to kill my guy on that. But what else do I play? Alright, let's see what I draw. Hopefully, I draw two. Uh... It's no good. I really wanted a two there. Not not playing anything with my deck isn't very good for me. You want to keep your minions alive as much as possible too. Like having to, like not sending in the two three. I think a lot of people would have just sent in the two three, or not a lot of people, but a lot of inexperienced arena players would have done that. You want to keep uh, board control as much as possible. It's more important than your weapon duration or your health or your health total.
Okay. So what do I play this turn? I kind of want to buff this up so I don't die to that yet. Three and four, I guess. It's okay. It's not terrible. The question is, do I even want to attack that? I don't think I do. I don't. I don't see how he can make me burn. Like if this only had three health, I would definitely attack that and protect this. But since he has to attack this and attack with his weapon anyways, I might as well get in three more damage to the face. Especially since I'm running out of steam now. Like that damage to the face may actually matter a lot. I definitely have to. Uh, I definitely wish I took Leroy in this deck though, because that that'll give me so many more chances to win these games. But that was only on like my eighth pick when I didn't choose Leroy, and I chose Baron. It's hard to know that you're going to get so many early game threats in Cold Blood. Oh! Kodo. Kodo value. Bring me steel. Huh. Wait, wait, he passed? Why did he pass? Why did he pass? Why did he pass? Why did he pass? I'm so confused. Why did he just pass? What? Okay, well, do I have game? Um, I have 8, 11, 14, 16 damage, I think. That's all I have. Is it still worth it to go for it? I don't think so. I can hit that. I can hit that with my weapon and then throw this out there. I think that's probably the best I can do, honestly. I definitely want to hit the Kodo. Do I want to kill the 1-3? I don't think it's that important to kill the 1-3. Do I want to Cold Blood? I think I do, because it might be hard for me to get more value out of my Cold Blood than this. I'll do it to the weaker target, too, because now... Um, it's harder for him to kill it. Now, uh, now he has, like, two threats to deal with. I had to, I, I think I had to cold blood there though because it's gonna be harder and harder for me to get out a good cold blood. Like the fact that I can just get in an extra four damage that turn seems very good to me and very important, considering I have no card left in hand. He should not have passed there, by the way. He should have attacked and hit it with the one, hit it with his weapon duration. It's a pretty good answer. Hopefully he does not have another one of those. Okay. Sap? Actually, no, he loses the sap too. I'm not sure what he can do here. He can assassinate, but he doesn't have enough mana. Um, I think he just loses, actually. I don't think there's anything he can do here. Alright, I guess he could taunt, actually. He could throw... No, no, even if he taunts. There's no, there's no taunt, I don't think, that. Or double grunt? No? Okay. Deck is uh, kind of funny. Though the problem I'll run into with this deck is if I don't have board control after two or three turns. Those are those are the games that I'll lose. All right, I got the coin here, so uh, I keep the two and the three. I definitely don't want to keep the assassins blade though, because I have another one. But I'm really looking for Defias. Okay, so I can coin out the Protector, and then play Blue Guild Warrior the following turn. It seems okay. Don't Mana Worm, please. I don't I don't have a 3-2 to deal with that. Oh, beautiful. I mean, it's really not that great against uh, uh, Mage, but it still, it still stalls him a turn. Next turn, I probably Sun Free Protector. Like, this stalls him from playing a 3-2. But... Again, that may not have been great because I had Blue Guild Warrior. It may not have been great for him. Definitely not play Blue Guild Warrior against uh, Pain this turn. Oh yeah, I know. Yeah, that was a weird play. So, dude, some of the things you see in Arena though, 
Like, it really shouldn't surprise us anymore. Okay, I think I'll Raging Warg in here and just go to the face. I'll deal with that next turn. But I have the chance to enrage my guy, so that's always good. <clears throat> ah, Frostbolt. Double Frostbolt? No, okay. This is a very close play. So I can clear, but I don't know if I want to. Could just throw down Shieldmaster. So what is Shieldmaster weak to? It's weak to Fireball, but besides that, it seems like a better play for me. And then next turn, I probably hero power. Or I guess I could just kill the 3-2 with my Sunfury Protector. I guess I'll do that. Because if he has Fireball, that's probably the trade he would have made anyways, but I just want to make sure that that thing dies. I could have played this turn many different ways though, but I really just wanted to get minion presence out there. Hmm. Assassin's Blade. Seems pretty good here. I may be able to get value out of, uh... Hmm. This is so This is a really hard turn, actually. Can buff that up, kill that, but that puts me at one health, so I definitely don't want to do that. I want to get value out of my my shield master. I'm just trying to think of how how to do that. Okay, mm I guess I'll go with this play. It's not amazing, but it doesn't get good value out of my mind control tech. But uh, it does make the most sense considering what his like his likely his next play is gonna be. Especially since I had the one here, like it does have value with Dark Iron Door. We'll see. I guess if I believed in the mind control tech dream, then I would have done that play. But I don't. I didn't really believe in it. Earth and rain. Hmm, okay. Hmm. okay. So I want to get value out of this card this turn. It's okay. Not an amazing play. I guess I could kill this instead. Yeah, there's no reason for me not to. My steam is running out though, which is really bad. And now, he, now he's already has five cards in hand, and he has and he's on mana for flame strike. So, my following plays are not going to be great. That's not good. This is where I hope he doesn't have flame strike because I need to I need those minions to stay in the field to be able to clear the six X. I think my deck will really struggle against uh, AoE clear. Yeah, that looks like a flame strike. Oh, maybe not. Hmm, this will be a hard turn. So the Yeti looks like it's gonna live. Unfortunately. I have to hit this. This this has to happen no matter what. I could cold blood kill the Yeti, but I don't know if that's really worth it either. I guess it is. Because next turn I can kill the 3 2 with my weapon. I probably lose though for sure, because I've lost all momentum here. He didn't need to flame strike last turn. He made he made the right. Oh wow, that was well played. Um, if that lived, I probably still die no matter what though. Cause I would have take three damage and be at four. Yeah, no way. Vanish. <laughs> ah, no vanish. Yeah. This already doesn't save me because he still has pain. I think anything that has AOE clear or that can win uh, board control early is going to be bad for me. Oh wow, I have a fairy dragon. I totally forgot about that card. Uh, it's pretty good hands. Do I want to keep it? Coin this out, then turn two, I play that. 
think I might want to keep the Argent Squire, though. I guess I will. It's a little more aggressive. It's something I'll probably play on turn 3. Okay, not really what I was looking for there, but that's okay. The pleasure is mine. The pleasure is mine. I definitely want to coin out the uh, Fairy Dragon here, because it's, it could be hard for him to remove. Plus, I have protection with the Blue Gill Warrior. So maybe, you know what, Blue Gill Warrior, maybe I did want to draw it. I don't know. We'll see. Aha! I did want to draw it. What do you know? Baron Geddon, oh gosh. That's so bad with his hand. Probably won't even get to turn 7 to play it though. <laughs> the cool thing about a deck like this is your games go by so fast. Mm, we probably need to kill that. Unfortunately, I don't see a way to not kill it. I guess I won't. I, I don't know. Maybe I'll try. I'll play a little risky. I think I have to play a little risky with this deck, the more I think about it. He's only on 4 mana, so he can only buff it up twice. That would be that would be the nightmare. But I still have ways to deal 1 damage if I need to. I can just shiv it next turn. Since I don't have anything to play next turn, too, it makes sense that I did this play. If I had, like, a 4 drop, it would have made more sense for me to trade, probably. I just really like um, my Fairy Dragon as a card. It's just it's so good. Like, it's so good against Wrath, it's good against Swipe, it's good against everything, man. Like, Fairy Dragon is such a good card. The only thing you can really do to a Fairy Dragon is Hero Power attack it with actual attack. <sighs> you attack that one, huh? Okay. Oh, two Assassin's Blade. It's not really what I was looking for. So I shiv this, I guess? Or do I shiv this one? Three, two, so I'm gonna lose all my minions here. I guess shiving this one, I can at least choose not to kill my minions off. Ah, uh, hmm, this is close. I was going to hero power hit that, but I guess since I have Assassin's Blade, there's no reason to. So, I'll just kill off my minions, I guess? So, by hero powering, what am I saving? I'm really just saving a 1-1. One, one. That's really all I'm saving. So, I guess there's no reason to do that. I'll just make the sacrifice. The pain is real, though. If I don't kill this thing now, I'm going to regret not killing it, because the quest and adventure is going to get quite large. Shieldmaster was a pretty good option there for him. This hand is so bad. This this is the nightmare, though. Like, you never want to have uh, double assassin played in your hand. Like, this will never get played in this game. Unless I get oozed, in which case I probably lose anyways. Okay, good. He didn't have swipe, hopefully. Oh, hopefully it's not Wrath either. Hopefully it's a 3 drop. Okay, that's fine. I can handle that. It's probably like the best turn I could have had for myself. I need to get this Baron getting out pretty soon, though. I have a lot of damage in my hand, but... It's very unlikely that I'm able to use this damage on his face. It's going to be used on minions. Whew. That's pretty big. Alright, I need something that can activate this. Oh, should I just go for the win here? I might have to. I don't see another play I can make. I definitely have to Deadly Poison this turn. Just contemplating if I want to hit him in the face or not. I think I do. I don't see how I win without doing this to the face. It's very risky though. Do I want to save my eviscerate? Next turn I Baron get in. So next turn I can't even eviscerate next turn. So I just eviscerate now. Wait, what? I'll put him at 10. So I can't kill him next turn. But I think it might be hard for me to eviscerate again. I don't see how I win without doing this, though. 
Like, I, I'd have to send my weapon into the 7-6 and then eviscerate it for one damage. Because my 2-2 needs to stay in the field. So, we'll see. If he plays Iron Bar Protector the following turn, I'd probably lose no matter what. The good thing is, is that he can't kill his 7-6 this turn, so he can't play anything really big. Oh my gosh, that was really bad. That's very bad for me. Okay, what do I need to do? I don't have an assassinate. I don't know if I have anything in here that's useful for that. Do I want to just send Baron Geddon? Or then at least I can deal with it next turn? Or do I want to heal? Guess I'll bear and get in. Both both of them are bad plays. But I don't have an option right now. He still can't kill his minion off on my guy, which is nice, but I don't have a silence either in this deck. It's still possible I win though. I'm just not sure exactly what I can draw. I need I need uh my other eviscerate would be really good. My other eviscerate actually probably wins me the game. We'll see what he does this turn. He can't he can't have another taunter though. I definitely cannot attack the face there, because then there's a good I can't attack his 7-8 that turn because there's a good chance I die. I'd be at eleven health. He healed that up. That was a good play. That was smart. We'll see what he does here. He attacks the face. Also probably smart. So I'm gonna be at three health. That means I die. Without Earth I mean. Well, technically I don't die now that I have that. Okay, well, this is the only play I can make. Okay. I have eight damage, probably next turn. If the Iron Bark Protectors or or Ancient of Wars like with a big taunter right now, then it'll be very I, I don't have any answer for that. I guess not having assassinates with a deck like this is very bad. Because you play so many low minions, you need something to be able to deal with big minions. But I won I'll win the games I'll win is when I dominate the early game. Behold the might of Stormwind. Pretty good. Okay, uh Eviscerate wins me the game. If all he does is hero power. Okay. Alright, I have to draw it here though. If I don't draw Eviscerate or some type of damage I can do to his face, then I lose, probably. 5, 10? He's at 11 health, though, so I'm one short. Yep, okay. That sucks. I was one short. <laughs> if this had si if this brought me to 6 damage, I could potentially stay alive, but... Fortunately, that is not the case. Very close, though. Damn. Hmm. <clears throat> I don't think I could have played that any different. Having the two assassins blade in my hand was like the reason why you don't want to ever draft two assassins blade. <clears throat> if I didn't use my eviscerate, maybe. But yeah, it's hard to say because the following turns didn't look like I was going to be able to eviscerate. Because I had Baron get in that turn. Hmm. Pretty bad hand. When you're when you're not going turn two. This would be this would be completely fine if I was if I was turn two. But the rain later is kind of pointless for right now. Loot hoarder, please. Whoa. Okay. Can't say I expected that. I want to rain later here because if he used the coin and he doesn't have anything to do but weapon up, I want to make him pay for that. Hopefully he doesn't have sun for you protecting. That would be kind of nuts. <laughs> Holy crap! <laughs> oh my gosh, that was crazy. So I probably have to cold blood here.
I don't see how else I get over that without quibbling. To have that combo in your hand on turn one is absolutely insane in Arena. Very unlikely. Brewmaster. Hmm, okay. So I can't kill that if I wanted to, but we'll see. We'll see what else I draw. Shiv, hero power? No. I'll play this. It's not that great, but it's better than me shiving and hitting, I think. Because next turn, I'm going to need to Assassin's Blade. So spending the weapon this turn was um, not great value for me. And I wouldn't be able to play Argent Commander for a long time. Or my Bluegill. Because turn 5 is going to be Assassin's Blade, turn 6 is probably going to be Ogre, unless something bad happens. Which hopefully does not. So that probably looks like Argent uh, Protector, which is fine. He's not going to play Argent Protector, really? I would definitely play Argent Protector. Hmm. Okay, maybe I, maybe I want to hold back on the Assassin's Blade now. I'll just get value out of Shiv. See what I draw. In case I get a three, I'll just trade the one one. <clears throat> Doesn't really matter that much, but it gives him something to hit next turn. Place. How do I deal with that? I guess I just ogre. I don't really have another way to deal with that, so I hope he doesn't have assassinate. Don't assassinate me, bro. Please. I do have the combo here, though. Mind if I roll need? <clears throat> okay, hopefully I draw two. He's gonna hit me, really. Okay. He might have another weapon then. That's probably what that means. Unless he's misplaying. Oh well, and I actually drew it too. Interesting. Okay. Pretty good turn for me. Defender of Argus is gonna have a lot of targets, but I also need to get out my Assassin's Blade, especially since I have another one. It's like very imperative to play that as soon as possible. Which I have not been able to efficiently do these last few turns. Because if you draw the other one, then if you had been spending the variation on the first Assassin's Blade, then the second one may not be that bad in your hand. We'll see. Hopefully I don't draw it. I should have thought about Betrayal, but I think I did play around Betrayal. It wouldn't have mattered how I played him. They all have three attack. Or two. Pretty good. So he did. He did have another weapon. Interesting. He should definitely attack the three two. Hundred percent. Taking out two minions right there is pretty good. And drawing a card. So what am I looking for now? I'm looking for another minion I can play and then play Defender of Argus. So hopefully a four drop. My deck is running out of steam again though. It's a very consistent um, way I've been losing. Backstab, what? Why would he do that? 
Does he have a way to do two damage? Or one damage, I mean? I'm still confused. That was a really weird play to me. And there's the other Assassin's Blade. It's really bad. I can't afford to uh, just Defender of Argus that target. Ugh, why do I draw you again? Seven, 18 cards in my deck, and you come out. How dare you show your face, Assassin's Blade? How dare you? That's not the card I want to see right now. Hand is so bad. It's unbelievable. Literally two very useless cards in my hand. Alright, well at least I have a play. That's good. That was a good draw. Probably maybe maybe the best draw in my deck. Puts a minion on the field and it clears off the rest of it. Don't big game hunter me, bro. Don't you do it. Don't. Uh, okay, that's fine. Somewhat fine. Okay. He doesn't have a, if he doesn't have a way to kill my seven five this turn, then I probably need to just go to the face. Oh, that's right, I forgot he had that. That's a very good point. I forgot he had a good old Sun Fury Protector. Okay. What is that? Backstab? No. Okay. Here we go. Squire, attend me. Ready, sir. I'll taunt up these guys. My seal, I'll definitely tag this because I think he was trying to backstab something. So maybe, maybe I should have taunted up the other guy, but I like to make the most out of your smaller threats. I may actually be able to use the second assassin's blade. Pretty good. Is that the backstab? Yeah, okay. No, oh, man. He should just hit my face and then re weapon. Brutal. I don't know if I have enough oomph left in my deck to win. There's nothing in my deck where I won't be able to play Eviscerate next turn. I don't think. Ooh. <laughs> this is the rush. The rush to the end. I need one more damage. Give me Shiv. Or did I already Shiv this game? Actually, can't remember. I'll save the eviscerate though. No, no point eviscerating. If he taunts or something, uh, that that's his way to win right now. Okay, so we won. Thank gosh, because that thing would have been unkillable. Storms are coming. Here we go. 
It's gonna rain out there. It's like thundering out. I'm gonna grab something to eat real quick. I'll be right back real fast though. Look at the size of this peach. Like, what does this look like? Um, look at this. It looks like an apple. <laughs> this thing is huge. It's like literally the biggest peach I've ever seen. I'm so I'm so impressed by it. What are we for to? I said this deck was go eight wins, so I hope I hope it does. Not a really strong turn for me. I could have cleared it, but I don't think there's a reason to. He had to use his coin there. How do I deal with that? You think I actually passed this turn? I'll deal with it next turn. Cause next turn I can hero power and drop my taunter. I don't I don't want to eviscerate this turn. My my eviscerate needs to get better target. Better uh more health pool. It's a pretty good card for him actually. I might have to this right now. That was unexpected. Oh, no, 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 no. Whoops. Oh, I forgot I had enough two mana. Oh, could have kept my one one alive. Whoops. Yeah. Oh well. Such a misplay on my part. Pretty good draw. Next turn I can uh, cast this for one. If I want. I might just Baron get it though. And save the weapon or something. Hmm? Uh oh. It's probably an Embark Protector. Next turn. So, I need to play everything. Actually, I'll save my weapon duration. It's more than likely I'm going to need to kill the iron bark with it. Kills my own guys, but I need to play it anyways. Alright, hopefully he doesn't hopefully he doesn't get wrath.
we'll play this guy. He doesn't die to Baron Gideon at least. Becomes a race. Uh oh. Is that enough to keep him alive? I don't think so. Really close game though. My Baron Geddon was killing me. Oh, I drew a heal though, so that would have been good. This is a bad hand. Terrible hand. It's a bad hand too though. I'll play this over here if I were killing it. Because now he has to commit to uh, spending one mana to pain my two three. This turn or next turn. He has to. Of course he could just Oh, okay. Oh, I hit it twice, darn it. I guess I'll hero power this turn since I have it too. Last turn I didn't want to hero power because I couldn't play anything else. <clears throat> Could that be? Let's find out. Probably my best draw, honestly. I don't think I would have played anything if I didn't draw that. He'll be at six mana next turn. So I want to kill that. I don't think so. If he was at six mana this turn, if he was going to be at seven mana this turn, I'd probably kill it though. Definitely would have killed it. Because <clears throat> I don't want to get flame striked. My hand is so weak against flame strike. Everything dies to flame strike in my hand. So I need to be really careful in these following turns. Value mirror entity right there. That's right. <laughs> Summon the one one. It did change my play, so I guess it did have some effect. Uh oh. Could be flame strike. I think I'll take the risk that he doesn't have flame strike though. 
I'll take the damage to the face. Like just just the fact that I think this is my only win condition is if he doesn't have punch strike this turn. He had flame strike. Oh well, what can you do? I just spam the field now. Just hope he doesn't have another flame strike. If he has another flame strike, he definitely wins though. But I really only played two minions out of my hand. Don't hit this. I'm okay with that. I'm okay with that. So he can ping down the 3 1 still. Okay. As long as he didn't. As long as he still has to waste mana ping that. 4 and 2, I, I guess. My hero power does nothing for me here. Unfortunately. Pretty good draw though. I needed something with more oomph. So he, he obviously doesn't have another flame strike though. It's important to remember now. <clears throat> Can take out my 3 3 now. It's pretty good value. Okay, that's fine. Do I kill the 3 2? I guess I do. Oh, now I definitely kill the 3 2. Do I want to risk. Nah, forget it. We're going all in. I don't have a choice. I have to go all in here. I was thinking about maybe not playing the device right here, but no, no reason not to. If he has Flame Strike, well then. Nothing I can do about that. Oh, that's not good. Don't flame strike me, bro. Don't you flame strike me. Oh, well, whatever that card was, he still had it. He's gonna pin it now. No, maybe not. Oh, wow, that was pretty good for him. That's pretty good for him. Oh my gosh. That was literally the worst card I could have drawn, I think. Unplayable. One of my unplayable cards. Unbelievable. Alright, so do I want to hit him in the face and go for it? I can put him at... Um, what can I put him at? I can put him at 8. I can put him at 6. But then I kill off all my guys. No, I can't. I need to kill this. Oh, that's a brutal turn. So I hope he doesn't draw an answer. Flame Strike still doesn't really give him an answer. Because my guy's at 6 health. So he would need like crossball then flame strike or something. Cone of Cold was really good. It's hard to get good value out of that card too in arena. Okay. Uh crap. Okay, so all my guys die with, with this. Wait, I don't win, right? Two, six. No, I only have 8 damage. Yeah. Okay. So do I want to kill this? Or can I take any more damage? I think I have to risk the fact that he maybe doesn't have damage. I'll kill off the 2-1 in case he does have... um. In case he has Fireball. It saves me from dying that way. If he has Pyroblast, I die no matter what though. It wouldn't matter how I played it. For the most part. Because then I just lose my 6 4. Okay, he didn't, he didn't have an answer for that. He might have Fireball in hand, so it's important to play around as many options as you can. If you can't play around everything, like I couldn't play around Fire Blast, so it's important to just play around something that you can.
Okay. Um, Novice Engineer, pretty useless here. Oh, really happy I got that. Okay, I'll send those two back. Not really the three I'm looking for in this situation. It was nice to be able to combo last turn, last game, though, with the uh, Big Game Hunter. It's a good play for me. Okay, that's fine. Uh, if he backstabs this, we know he has backstab. No, okay, so he doesn't have backstab. So what would I rather play? Berserker or a Fairy Dragon? I guess Fairy Dragon. Next turn I'll probably be playing Berserker though. M maybe, maybe I should, but I don't know. We'll see. Deadly Poison. Okay. So anything I play is going to die. Oh wow, beautiful. That's perfect. I was going to still play the uh, Berserker here though. Just because I need to keep up the damage. Gets rid of his variation, I guess, too. Say it, say, it keeps stuff on the board, too, by having two targets. I want to kill that. I guess I do. I'd be worried about him making some use out of this spell power if I didn't kill it. Next turn, I'm probably using Assassin's Blade. Assassin's Blade though, one thing. I don't want him to be able to attack my 2 2, get a draw. He'll get two draws from it, and he'll be able to kill one of my 2 2s with just his weapon. I need him to have to spend other things to kill it. Hmm. I think I just spam the field. I'll just go to the face. I need to end the game really soon. Hopefully in this turn right here. If I get the coin, I think my deck does much better. If I have the right hand with the coin. Which is very possible considering how many twos I have. Eviscerate, wow. A backstab and kill that? That would be insane. Does he have a way to kill the two? Oh, he'd sap. Interesting. Okay. <laughs> the wombo combos. Definitely have to hit the face, though. I'm, like, at the point of the game where I have to, um... Wait, what just happened? My guys like bugged out, went different directions. Okay. Was there a way for me to buff these two? I guess not. No, it's impossible. Just by the way they come out afterwards. He needs spell power, fan and eyes, or something. An ooze. Pretty good too. So he didn't have a taunter. He needed that with like a Sengen, and I might have had trouble. I would have definitely had trouble finishing him off. I still had two eviscerates though that I didn't play that game. Okay, 
Yeah, I'll keep the Argent Scar. Oh, beautiful, actually. I guess I won't keep it. Uh, I won't keep any of the other things. Since my plan is to defy the Rainleader, co coin defies the Rainleader, I'm really looking for, like, a different two. It's a pretty bad hand. <laughs> Definitely would have preferred the other one to this, but the other one wasn't good either. The other one couldn't have been played on turn three. Or turn two. I have so many two jobs that I still this hand still could be fine. Like if I draw correctly. Just really I just really need another two. Next turn I might have to commit to just hero power. If I don't draw anything. Don't train lightning me or fork lightning me. That's okay. For the most part. Uh, okay. I'll play that. I'll play this over weaponing. Very slow turn for him. Do I want a weapon or... No, I just heal. I want to kill the totem too because I don't want to... Um, run into issues by not being able to kill a totem if he clears my board with AoE. I gotta fight for board control right now. It's kind of anti-productive. I wish it was the other device. Could eviscerate, but I need something. Cold blood? Eviscerate, hit that cold blood. Hmm. Interesting play. Okay. I like it. It's okay. It's not terrible, it's not great though. I think I would have preferred it too. This is probably a hex target though, if he has hex. <laughs> Bounce the frog back to my hand. Aw oh, man, it's lame. Do I want to kill that? <laughs> Don't know. Do six. What do I do the following turn if I did that? I guess maybe I'll commit to not assassin blading the next turn. Oh shoot! I shouldn't have done that. I shouldn't have done that. Or, I mean, I guess it still doesn't matter. I'm gonna hit him in the face, though. Because Raging Worgen can go off on this target. So I don't want to kill it. Yeah, it kills my Taunter, but... Outside of that... It didn't really matter, because I, I would have had to play the Raging Worgen. I didn't have anything else for two mana. That's bad, though. Somewhat bad. It just means I have to play this this turn. I do get to enrage my Worgen, though. So next turn I have, from hands, I have 5 damage. So if he doesn't have an answer for this, then we win. But the fact that he like don't has, doesn't have lightning bolts or something is very... Um, probably not possible. Damn. It's just out of range. I still play it, though. I just need to play as much as possible, because I have to kill him. I have to kill him in this next couple turns. I don't want to put out Baron because I might need that 2 damage snipe to end up finishing him. If I just throw that out there now, it just kills the Fire Elemental. And that's all it would do. <clears throat> it's better for me to spam minions right now. And hope that he doesn't have, like, Lightning Storm. I don't think he does have Lightning Storm because he probably would have used it when I had the three, man the 3 minions out there. I think. Maybe not. Searching for the Taunter, probably. I don't think the spell power really helps him here. I've got a huge I can't. Alright, we win. Barely, though. Here we go. <laughs> I probably didn't see that coming.
Hey, Turkfish, thanks for following, man. Appreciate it. Uh, this hand is terrible, so I'll get rid of all of it. No synergy between that hand. I really... Oh my gosh, this is a nightmare hand. Fairy Dragon. Go. Yeah, I'm deadly for that. That's not a... That's like a turn 3 play. Thank you. Okay. I'm not gonna attack because I have deadly poison. This is a, such a bad hand though. This is like such a slow start for my deck. I needed a two drop so bad. Uh Alright, give me a two drop. Whoa. Interesting. Give me a two drop. Give me a two drop. Okay. That's good, that's good, that's good. Alright, let's see what happens here. No? This is our town, scrub. Aha! Alright, good. I can kill that. I really needed a 2 there, just for that reason. Because Deadly Poison would have killed anything I would have dropped for 2 mana. Next turn, I can do a few other things that are nice. <clears throat> what do I want to do? Dark Iron Door? I'll hold on to the weapon. Since I had such a slow start, I can't burst him down. Okay, I can deal with that. Um. I'm gonna do it this way so that I can heal. I think. Then what else do I play? I guess I just weapon up again. I like it because it heals my minion. It gets the most efficiency out of it. I could just do this. And kill it. Which isn't a bad play either, but... I'm not actually sure which one's better. I could just hit it and then do that too. I guess I'll do that. I don't know. No. This is very hard. It's a very close play. I'm not 100% sure which one I liked better. Maybe I could have shivved. Instead of re-weaponing. I should have done that actually. Yeah, I should have shivved it. I should have shivved it. Yeah, okay. That would have been a better play. Than just re-weaponing, I think. Because the fact that I have two uh, weapons in the deck means it's very likely that one of these turns are going to be spent doing that. Okay, this this time I'll Defender Vargas. Though. Mm, he'll be at six mana, right? He doesn't have coin. Or does he have coin? Shoot, I can't remember. No, I think he used his coin. Yeah, he used his coin on the mirror image. Ooh, do I want to lose the 3-3 three, three instead? I think I'd rather lose the 3-3, three, three. especially since I don't have anything else to play this turn. Because I want to keep this at 5 health. Oh, there it is. Nice. I want to keep this at 5 health because it's something that's not weak to Flame Strike. And finding something that's not weak to Flame Strike in my deck is close to... is next to impossible. <clears throat> hey, what's up, Mardo? How's it going, man? I haven't seen you in a while. How have, you, how have you been this week? I've been very busy this week. We must cleanse. Had a lot of a lot of stuff for school to do. Okay, how much damage do I have? Oh wow, I might have a lot of damage actually. I have three. I have seven. I have eleven. Fourteen, sixteen. Okay, sweet. Hope I didn't count wrong. Can we take it to 12 wins? That's the question. Coin? Ah, uh, I don't have the coin. So that means my Defies Rain later is much worse. I'll keep the Blue Guild Warrior though. And the Ooze. Pretty not a terrible hand for going first. I definitely don't want to go first with this deck though. Ah, uh, Defias. You have betrayed me. I'll see what he plays. I, I'm kind of hoping he coins out a 3-2, though, because I don't really want to use my ooze. I might just throw out Rain later if he doesn't do anything. I think this is a close play. I'll send Rain later out. Not good value out of my Rain later, but 
I want to get better value out of my ooze since my deck is uh, scaled for having the coin and playing early game. Since I'm not able to do that, like this is only a turn 4 play if I did that, so. Okay, I'll play my 3 over hero powering. Hero power and killing it, like, protecting the 2-2 doesn't really matter. Like, healing that didn't really help me because anything that kills it at 2 health is going to kill it at 1 against Paladin. Except the Elven Archer. <laughs> but, like, it dies to everything else. Oh, Hammer. Oh, no, okay. So that's why I wanted to save Ooze. Because I need to get the most value out of my cards. Alright, so I Ooze and probably just Hero Power. Because I don't want to be too weak to Concentrate. Uh, do I hit him? I think I hit him. Because I might jaw into one of my uh, weapons. Next turn I probably Silverhand Knight. He would Consecrate here if he has it. Yeah, okay. So see, that's why I didn't want to play Bluegill. <clears throat> Can make him pay a little bit. There's the Assassin Blade. Okay, I guess I won't play that then because I have Synergy with Assassin Blade now. The Assassin's Blade and play this next turn. It's pretty good. Starts at 3 a.m. in Germany. Yeah, yeah, I got you. I hear you, man. Yeah, I had a lot of tests that I had to do this week, this week, so I didn't stream during Monday and Wednesday. Hmm. How do I deal with that? I guess I don't. I guess I don't deal with it for right now. Well, yeah, I guess I'll just wait till next turn to deal with it. I'm gonna hit the face here too, because I have two of these weapons, so using the duration is fine. I need to get as much damage as I can in on him too, because it'll be hard for me to kill him if the game continues on. Next turn I can even bluegill warrior, if it makes sense to do that. I just hope he doesn't have another True Silver Champion. True Silver Champion would dominate this deck. I'm happy I was able to get rid of one True Silver Champion. Might be thinking about Hammer of Wrathing or something. I'm not sure. He has a lot of cards in hand, so he could have many different plays to make. I can't wait for Naxxramas to come out. I'm like literally so excited. I've been looking at all the uh, different cards that have been like speculated to come out, and I've been thinking of different deck ideas. Oh, Light's Justice. Oh my god. The value. The value is intense. Oh my god, he messed up. What? He just... Oh my god. He just messed up so hardcore. Oh my god, he just messed up so hardcore. I cannot believe he just did that. I feel so bad right now. Honestly, I feel really bad. He had such a good play there. Okay, so how much damage do I have? <clears throat> four, six. I have nine damage, which is not enough to go for it. I think I'll save my bluegill. I feel really bad right now. I'll protect my uh, my one one from dying with the taunter instead of playing like four. I feel so bad right now. <laughs> oh my god! I cannot believe he just did that. He had the perfect clear. He had the perfect clear. Now he has to waste the Hammer of Wrath on it. Like, if he loses this game now, that is, like, probably the deciding factor in why he lost. Okay, I can kill that with my... <laughs> I feel bad, though. I really do. Okay, 2, 3, 6, 7, 10. So I only, I only have 10 damage. I'll ship him in the face, though, to see if I draw something else. Like a, uh, something good. Hmm, I'll play this, and I'll also play... Berserker. I feel very bad though. I you don't like to win on a misplay like that. Like he he knew the play that he had in mind. He just misclicked. But now I played the uh, enraged guy here because it's weak. Uh, it's it's good against consecrate for me. Because if he decides to consecrate his board, which seems somewhat good without spell power, only being able to do two is not that good. Pretty good. One, three. Do I win? I think I do. Yeah, definitely. 
I think I might have needed the charger though. Yeah, I don't think I had I don't think I had one more damage anywhere. I would have been one damage short. I feel bad though. Sorry, War Child. As long as he knows what he did wrong, he probably won't make that mistake again. Okay. Mm, oh, nice. So I got the extra card, but um, it doesn't really look great in this hand. I'll keep the Raging Worgen, though. I really like this card in this deck, because it has so much synergy with uh, Cold Blood and other things. Alright, not a bad hand at all. So 2-2, two, two, or 2-2, two, 3-4. Two, Unless I draw my green here. Oh gosh. It's the Baron Geddon. The Baron Geddon has made an appearance. He's so bad in this hand, though. Actually, wait, no. He's pretty good, actually. You can, uh, enrage my guys. It's very unlikely to happen, though. X marks the spot. Mm. I'll play this and I'll go to the face. I may not have done this play if, uh, this guy had two health because it's weak to Forked Lightning. Forked lightning. <clears throat> it's important with this deck to get in as much damage as I can because it's so combo -y to go to the face. Like, the only way this b comes back to bite me is if he hero powers and gets the uh, skull power totem. Okay, I definitely enraged my guy off that. I think. The shiv is pretty good here. Because I can enrage my own guy next turn. If I want. I'm assuming he has an answer. Because, uh, why would he... Why would he play that there? You know? Oh, he didn't have an answer for it. Interesting. Oh boy. That was a mistake. Okay, how do I want to kill that thing? Okay, this is going to be weak to Lightning Storm, but outside of that, it's fine. My enraged guys are just going to town. If he doesn't have an answer for this, I pretty much win the game. If he has Lightning Storm, then he is back in it. Or, I mean, there's a couple things he could play, really. Forked Lightning. Oh, he had Lightning Storm. Okay. Okay, I really would like it to two drop. Hmm. It's pretty good. Pretty good to get the Taunter Totem there. Oh, uh, I got a two. Okay. I'll attack it, I think. Because next turn I'll have six mana, so I may play a four and hero power again. So I'll attack it. Plus I also have uh, two weapons in here, assassin's blade. So if I get that, then I'm just wasting the duration by not attacking this turn. Whew, the value, not really great value, but somewhat value. If he does, if he doesn't attack the three-three, that's a huge mistake. That's a big mistake. Cause now I just do this. Whoa, I have a lot of damage. I almost had enough for my control tech too. Probably should have paid attention to that. Okay, I'll play a three and I'll cold blood this turn. It's gonna be hard for me to get good use out of cold blood from here on out. Since he already played one lightning storm, he may not have another one as well. Which is, so it may be hard for him to get to the seven too. Ah, he had fire elemental. Pretty good. So I have nine damage, and then I can kill him next turn with Baron Gennet. Okay. Question is, do I want to kill the one one? Nah, I can't. Can't kill him with the Baron. Okay. You have to just go for the win with this deck because you're so close. Like I run out of steam very easily. Even if and plus getting him at two health was really important because if he plays a taunter like Totem and Senjin or something, and then clears my minions, I could have a really hard time getting that last damage in. Whereas Baron Ganon, it like works like a consecrate in that situation. I can or a spell and I can just do damage to his face. It's like eight or something, eight or nine. Give me the coin. No, this hand was OP with the coin. It's pretty bad now though. I have to get rid of all of it. I have to give myself a better shot to get it too. Alright. 
Uh, it's a two. <laughs> it's not. It's not really the two I was looking for, though. Zoo Inc. Holy crap! Bro, how did you know that? That was amazing. Is it? Is that what all warlocks do? Or something? But no, I think four hours. But um, uh, deadly poison. Deadly poison. Go. No. Uh. So do I want to make the value play? I don't think so. I think it's too slow to make that value play. I'll just throw them both out there. My deck really can't make value plays because I don't win the late game, so I have to uh, play aggressive. We are worlds apart, my friends. <laughs> oh, an imp. Alright, how did you know this? Any only way Warlock gets 11 runs is zoo. That's not true. That's not true. Alright, um, do I want to taunt this up? I taunt it up and then go to the face, maybe? Okay. It's gonna be hard to get good value out of this. He's gonna have to trade his uh his three three into my four three. Otherwise it's a waste for him. Other otherwise it's like impossible for him to kill that. Cause he can't do it with spells. So warlock warlocks that don't have weapons either, so there's no way for him to make me pay for this, I don't think. Hellfire, I guess. But no, Hellfire kills his own minions. Yeah. There's nothing he can really do. Pretty good minion there. Pretty good to play that. He does get a card draw. I mean, it's not amazingly good, but it's decent. Oh, I put it at three health. That sucks. Forgot about that minor detail. So do I want to just go to the face then? Don't think I can. Unfortunately, I have to hit this. If I don't hit it, then... Then he can definitely make me pay. With chargers and whatnot. Ne next turn, I have Ogre, which is really good. Y you know what would have been a good draw right there is... um. My weapon. Or even Deadly Poison would have been good. Put this apple on your head. Put this apple on your head. Ugh. Uh, buffed it up again. Oh, that's pretty good. I think that's better than using Ogre here. Well, I can send that in and then Ogre. Maybe that's better. Mm. So what am I protecting by doing this? I'm protecting my 2-3. I guess it's actually better to do Ogre here. I definitely want to hit the Knife Juggler though, because I don't want him to get any value out of the Knife Juggler. I think it's more important for me to get better board position at this time. Because if, if I don't win now, if I don't win in the next couple turns, then I lose. Probably. Oh, fire? Okay. So far? Shadow Bolt, okay. Yeah. It's pretty good, pretty good for him. Uh, I think it's time to, s oh boy, two Assassin's Blade. It's never good. It's time to start going for the face though. With my weapon. It's definitely possible, but it is a little harder. I, I will agree. Like, Warlock does have a little bit of trouble. Hopefully he does not have a 3-drop. Uh, or a 2-drop, I guess. Okay, I just- I have to go for the face here, I think. Like, I can't kill the 4-4, unfortunately. Do I want to kill this? I think I might, actually. Yeah, I think I do. That way it may be hard for him to clear my other two. Hmm, I don't know, maybe I should've hit the face, because it, it's probably impossible for me to win this next turn. Pretty good. Uh, this could be bad, this could be really bad. Hmm. <laughs> what, a, what a way to go out. I was gonna say I needed one more damage or I might lose. But what a way, what a way, what a way to get the 12 wins with the Baron Geddon. Oh, I've got to have to end turn, right? <laughs> Sweet. 
Let's see what we get. Hopefully lots of gold for the Naxxramas. I'm kind of surprised that we were able to take that to 12 wins. I said 8 wins, but... Two packs? Wow, that might be the first time I've ever had two packs, actually. I gotta screenshot that. Whoa, a golden leopardum. That's kind of cool. Sweet. I like the golden cards. It's kind of cool. Thanks so much for watching, guys. Really appreciate hanging out with me and uh, watching this arena run. Uh, click the thumbs up button down below. Subscribe. Let me know what you think. And uh, look out for more videos coming soon. Nax is right around the corner. And I have some great ideas for Nax. Some really cool ideas that I cannot wait to get started on. So hopefully in the next couple weeks, Nax Ramos comes out. And then uh, you'll get a lot of content on that too. And also uh, look for more arena videos in the near future. So thanks for watching, guys. Appreciate it.